Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Double N Sports TV. Double N Sports TV. I'm your host with the most, Mr. Nigel. I'm going to be giving you some gambling tips. However, gambling, you must control it. Don't let it control you. And always gamble what you can afford. I'm just giving you these tips in good faith. So let's continue with group B. Ba. Ba. Start with Spain. Coach Hulen Lepategui left two days before the start of the World Cup. Appears as Real Madrid coach. But what's that all about? Who's disrespected who they? Club? The coach? Le Patigui? Or the Spanish FA? I guess time will tell. Time will tell. But what we do know is Fernando Hero is now going to take Spain forward. He was a Spanish captain in his years. Uh, played in the 1994 World Cup for Spain, 98, and in 2002. He played uh, midfield and scored 29 goals. That's impressive. That's an impressive. He was almost like a center half. You know, he's, he's an impressive player. That's all. That's all we can say about the coaching now for Spain. But let's start from the T.O.P. This coaching saga on the side. Spain at 10th. 10th in the FIFA rankings. This will be their 15th World Cup appearance. 15th World Cup appearance. That's not, that's not bad. They've been to two semi-finals. Uh, two finals. One final, they won. One final, they did not win. So... That's an impressive resume. Spain are a good team. They are favourites to win this. However, I'll give you the odds uh, at the end. I'll give you the odds at the end. But I'm, I think they can still go on to win it. In qualifying, uh, Spain, you know, they scored 36 goals. They were in the same group as Italy and they won their group. Uh, it must be noted that they beat uh, Liechtenstein. 8-0 back-to-back games. 8-0 at home, 8-0 away. So, they are a great side. They have players. So, they can score goals and they know how to defend. They have a great midfield. They can pass the ball. You know. <laughs> Let's look at their key players for this World Cup. We have to pay homage to Sergio Ramos. 167 caps for his country great player great player who else in that team well you know i'll be looking at uh diego costa uh he, diego costa is pretty interesting uh in the sense that he's only just starting to settle in the spanish team he's only really finding his form in that spanish team remember he changed his allegiance from Brazil to Spain, and so when he came to Spain, he struggled a little bit. But now he's, he's you know, he's found his form. And the only thing I worry about uh, Diego Costa is his temperament. And you know, I think referees don't like him, and especially at big tournaments like this, cards, you know, they can affect uh, the whole game. So I'm looking forward to seeing him play. He's, you know. I don't think any defender wants to play against him. So I look forward to seeing him play. Uh, there is another player for Spain. Uh, Alvaro Oredola. Young 22-year-old who plays for Real Sociedad. He's a centre-back. I look forward to seeing him play. He might be coming to Arsenal. You know, at this time, everybody's linked to Arsenal. But I believe he's coming. You know, He might be coming to Arsenal. He's quite strong, you know, understands the game. Uh, he's also very good on and off the ball. Those are the type of players I like, ones that understand the game without the ball. Yeah. So, that is it about the Spanish team. Look forward to seeing them play. 
Uh, let's look at the opponents now. Portugal. Well, when you say Spain versus Portugal, you have to say Sergio Ramos versus Ronaldo. Well, Portugal, they are fourth on the FIFA rankings. Uh, this will be their seventh World Cup appearance. Seventh World Cup appearance. Their best of achievement was finishing third at the World Cup. Yeah, you would think Portugal has done more at World Cups, but it seems they haven't. But it must be noted that they are the current European champions. Uh, they won it in 2016. They went to a tournament, the Confederation Cup. You know, uh, they just take the winners of all the continents and they will play a tournament. They came third in that tournament as well. Uh, they beat Mexico, you know, for, for the third or, for the third place uh, playoff. So it was, you know, it was it was good, and and route to Russia for the qualifications. They only conceded four goals. You know, so Portugal are a decent side. Who are they coached by? Oh, their coach is uh, Fernando Santos. It's been coached since uh, 2014, just after the World Cup. Yeah, 2014. And he's a very cautious, cautious guy when it comes to football. He likes to defend as well. The thing with uh, uh, Portugal is their play is really centered on the one man. We'll get to that. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's been good. You know, it must be noted that, you know, at the Euro 2016, Portugal did not, uh, you know, were not undefeated in any, any of the games. So, they were quite good. Who are the key players for Portugal? Well, we have to say Ronaldo. He scores 50% of their goals. He scores 50% of their goals. You know, uh, and he is a great player for Portugal. Uh, and we have to look at Andre Silva, uh, the young Inter Milan forward. Uh, scores goals very well, although he did have a bad season with Inter Milan, but he's a great player, again linked to Arsenal. Uh, you know, I think he'll be performing very well at this World Cup. It will be. Yeah, I, I. I look forward to seeing him. I look. I look forward to seeing him, and I need you to look out for him as well. He's another player. I'll be looking at. Then we have to look at Goncalo Gigi's. I hope I say that right. Uh, he's another young player, uh, currently playing uh, at, uh, at Valencia. He's a PSG player on loan. Uh, and I understand Liverpool are interested in in, in, in in signing him. He's a you know those are just rumors. These are just rumors. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, plays wing, but as you know, plays wing or or striker sometimes. Uh, scores goals. He scores goals. So if Ronaldo is not in form, he can be banging in those goals without a doubt. Without a doubt. So. With all that in mind, all that said, who wins this game? I would say this game will be 1-1. One, one. And 1-1. One, one. If you do predict the score, a draw 1-1 one, one is 8-1. to one. Those are the odds. 8-1. to one. Spain's winning 1-0. The odds are 6-1. to one. If Spain should just win 1-0, it's 6-1. to one. Portugal to win, it's 2-1. 2-1 to one. Two to one for Portugal to win. But you will get money, and I think you should go for this one. Ronaldo and Diego Costa, both to score in 90 minutes, 16 to 1. But remember, it's in 90 minutes. If Ronaldo scores in the 91st minute, you lose. But within the 90 minutes, Ronaldo scores, Diego Costa scores 16 to 1. And I would go for that. I would go for that. So, you know, Portugal to win 2-1, 16 to 1. You know, uh, and those are my odds. You know, your host for the most, Mr. Nigel, Double N Sports TV. Okay, join the next one. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share.